Well, the jury has been sent home, but the proceedings are still going on. I just ran down from the third floor so I can tell you what we know so far. The attorneys on both sides are sticking around as they work on setting a date for sentencing for 19 year old Malik Mungo. And right before I walked out of the courtroom, the state told the judge they do plan to retry Mungo on the eight counts that the jury could not reach a unanimous verdict on in which mistrials were declared. Those were the eight most serious charges against this teen and including robbery, both robbery charges, first degree felony murder, second degree murder. They could not really uh, reach unanimous decisions on those. And also the gang, the participation in a gang and the conspiracy to participate in a gang, they could not reach a decision on those. Those are the three topics that Malik Mungo vehemently denied having anything to do with the convictions that the jury handed down today are basically on charges that Malik Mungo in his own testimony in his own defense admitted to doing some handgun violations and several drug charges. So uh, here's the rundown. He was found guilty of one felony charge, conspiracy to distribute a controlled dangerous substance or illegal drugs. He was also found guilty of one, two, three, four handgun violations in addition to three other drug charges. He was found not guilty on all three burglary charges that he faced here. That was in relation to the uh, the larger case, the gang indictment that the state attorney general's office had brought against him. That's actually the reason why he was tried here in the county instead of in the city because of this large gang investigation. It involved both jurisdictions. But for the family of Sebastian Dvorak, who was killed on the night of his 27th birthday as he was walking home from work in the Canton neighborhood of the city, when they heard that the state plans to try Mungo again on these murder and robbery charges, and then the judge said she has no date open in her calendar until March of next year, Sebastian's parents both both hung their heads and started to cry. They had their heads in their hands. It was a very emotional, a very sad moment for them. We're going to send it back to you now. The bottom line here is the jury was unable to reach a unanimous decision on the eight most serious charges against Malik Mungo, including robbery and homicide, the first degree felony murder and the second degree murder as well. The state does plan to retry him, which means nobody to this date has been held responsible for the murder of Sebastian Dvorak two years ago. Reporting live in Towson tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.